So let's keep it real. Everyone does not have a celebrity budget and that is fine. So what you've really got to do in order to pull off a celebrity look without breaking the bank is study the heck out of that room. I think what you want to do is really examine the key pieces and the key components in the space that make it look very luxurious. And when I say that, it's really about finding the look for less and finding exact pieces that have similar attributes. So here are, are a few of my favorite go-to places when I'm always trying to like cut corners. First and foremost is Craigslist. Yes, I said Craigslist. I didn't say Facebook Marketplace. I said Craigslist. Here's the thing. You gotta be able to do a smart search. And when I say a smart search, anytime I'm looking for an item online, let's say I'm looking for a mid-century uh, sectional. Okay, don't look up the word mid-century sectional because you are going to get taken to the bank. I wanna see the word couch. Even the word sofa, mm, I don't know. That person, that's, the sofa throws me off too because you still using a fancy word. Another resource that I love to go to is gonna be Ikea. I feel like Ikea has a lot of great hacks and there are so many uh, different brands now that work um, interchangeably with Ikea. For instance, you can purchase an inexpensive dresser and then they have drawer fronts that can be applied with like pill and stick. I'm also a big fan of spray paint. You can do wonders with a can of spray paint you know, a matte black or, you know, a shiny gold, and it's going to look like it has a high-end finish. Another thing I like about Ikea is even when it comes to their upholstery, you know, for the most part, some of their chairs are a little bit more sturdy and maybe it's not the fabric that you want. Well, buy the piece because it's inexpensive and then you can go down to your local fabric store, purchase some fabric and have it reupholstered. So anytime I look at a chair or whether I look at a lamp, I never see it in the form that it's in. I know that it can be altered. I can change a lampshade. I can spray paint the entire piece. You know, if I find the last, the last ottoman at Home Goods, but it's not the perfect shade of blue that I want. Well, I only paid $30 for it. Just go in and reposter it. So I think this, the thing is you need to begin to walk into uh, a furniture store and re-envision a piece. I think another thing that will really help when shopping is how you repurpose things. You know, we live in an era now where things are very gender fluid and I think that should carry over into design. Just because you call something a soap dish, for me, this might be a cute tray that I wanna put on my coffee table. And so step outside of what something is labeled as and create your own version of it and make it work for you. So I've got one more trick up my sleeve when we talk about mixing and matching and layering. So I'm gonna do a little Vanna Black action. Look at that. You love TV, you can just like, ta-da. So what I'm holding right here are a couple of pieces of pottery. This piece right here is, you know, your typical clay pottery piece that has been painted where you have kind of like this weathered antique piece that is actually uh, made in India and I didn't pay that much for it, which was great. But what I love about both of these pieces is that they really add character. Like when I look at the beautiful notches on this piece, like it really looks like a vintage vessel and I paid for like $5 for this piece. But these are the type of layering pieces that make it look like you've traveled and it looks like, you know, you've curated, you know, these beautiful pieces over the years. The same thing with this jug right here. I mean, you can go to West Elm or, you know, Pottery Barn, but it's gonna be these soft pieces that really help layer and define the space. And what I love about them is they're neutral enough where they can be used all season long. Like this would be amazing. Like at Christmas, if you were to have, you know, some beautiful berries that were kind of just like hanging out. But then in the springtime, this could also work if you just have some beautiful eucalyptus. Now, this guy right here, this is my favorite. Wooden vessels can go a long way. 
I love wooden vessels because not only can I put like beautiful greenery in here, but I can also do, you know, a whole beaded moment. You've seen Joanna Gaines does it, Nate Burkis does it, Studio McGee does it, everybody does it. So you can go ahead and you can drape beautiful beads uh, right out of the jug and then that really becomes its own piece of artwork. The main thing is incorporate pottery into your design and this will help give it an elevated, curated luxe feel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.